Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to all of you that follow me on Facebook, to all of you that follow me on YouTube. Welcome to all of you that have heard about me before. Welcome to all new listeners and watchers. And this is for all of you, this topic. I was thinking about it the other day after having talked to an old friend. And I hear this many times. I've tried everything. I'm talking about in relations to bettering your health to getting that amazing life on so that you can walk the woods like I do and have this amazing life. <laughs> so, you might be the one suffering right now and you're thinking, I've tried everything. And I hear this, even clients. Do you think you can help me, Hilda? Because I've tried everything. And this is my suggestion to you. And these are my thoughts around this topic. Because believe me, number one, you have not tried everything as if it ever existed and that mindset shows me that you haven't now isn't that interesting you know me as the health and mindset coach and you know even though i am a detox specialist and an author most of all i'm a life enthusiast and most of all i'm here to call the bullshit i am here to not only investigate but to let you see because i'm also an intuitive why it is that you're not getting to where you want to go. Why it is that you're holding yourself back, quote unquote, quote, subconsciously. You know I talk about self-sabotage and there's a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that you can go through for a lot of different topics. But this one is in particularly interesting because I walked that myself. I did try what I perceived as everything in my own journey. You know, I was bedridden with severe rheumatoid arthritis. I had Lyme's disease and ulcers. I had debilitating anxiety. I was in and out of hospitals. I did not want to live in this body, mind you, anymore. I tried everything that my mind could grab onto. But you see, the thing is, two different sides to this. One is the mind <laughs> trying to figure out what everything is. So I went through everything from a rife machine to living on just greens, no fruits, high fat, you know, that green smoothie. I did that for years. I went through all the mats and the EMFs and all the technology and all the different so-called diets. Heck, I am an educated graduate of INN. IIN, Integrative Nutrition. You go through 101 diets and philosophies just during that education. Are we talking confusion.com? Yeah, but it's another thing. It just shows us so many people are showing up with different protocols trying to teach us something to follow diligently and then get well. Well, here's the thing. The way that I see it and what I found is this when we make any form of limit like that meaning I say I tried everything I mean I have tried everything that is within the circle the equation mindset that I'm willing to do I mean I have tried everything that's either I can grab at the moment, uh, I believe in, I have the means to do, I have the assets, meaning I have the money, or meaning I believe I'm in the right place, or meaning I can <laughs> withstand it, <laughs> hold on, hang in there. That's what we mean, right? You've tried all that. Because there is never everything to try. There's only allowing and going back to simplicity. See, it wasn't until I had gone through all of that, which I was willing to try, and I was because I was experimenting with myself. That's how I learn. We're different. Some people like it better if they have a great coach or great mentor that can put up, you know, and teach them and then show them how to grow. I was the, oh, I want to try that, you know, and I did everything. So I was my own guinea pig 
which was great for me because now I have all that knowledge that I can pass on to all of my listeners and my followers and my clients, of course. But the thing is this, I never tried everything. Even now, I wouldn't say that I've tried everything, even though I've probably tried more than most people I've ever met, just because that was my passion. But not everything, because we don't even know everything. We will never know everything. And the minute that I say, I've tried everything, what did I do? I shut the door, boom. I shut the door. I shut the door. I'm not allowing anymore. I'm not expecting health anymore. I'm not expecting that breakthrough anymore. And you know what other, one other thing? I'm actually looking for the outcome to be validation that what I'm doing is right. Now listen, this is a tricky one, but of course, that's, you, you, that's, that's what you're telling me right now, right? That's why I'm doing it, Hilda. Why would I be doing it if I wasn't looking for the outcome? Well, the thing is this, when you're walking down the path of nature, of truth, of abundance and awakening and growth, then there's no payback per se, because it is a pleasure and a place of service to your body, to the environment, to the earth, to the universe, to God, whatever you want to call it. So you're not, so you cannot go down a path looking for a specific turnout or a payback because then you're stuck in that. And nature and your body is much smarter than that. You're getting back to the trap which I've talked about before, the mental trap of looking for the outcome. So say that, for example, say I'm walking down this path and I have reoccurring UTIs, urinary tract infections. For example, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not gonna tell you anything about medications or diagnose anything or treat any disease. So this is me. Now, I've tried everything to get rid of this because I don't want to feel this. So trying everything, meaning I have gone on a lot of different diets, I bought a lot of different supplements, I might have gone to special classes, it could be yoga, it could be anything, that I have seen within my inner <laughs> acceptance that I could do for this. Because first I have to accept it. I have to be willing to do it. I have to believe in it somewhat, at least enough to try it for a while. Stuck. Try it to see if it works. Stuck. Obstruction. Clinging, hanging on. And you might even come to the other side and say, hey, I am going to go through a proper detoxification regenerative detoxification. I'm gonna do it with the right protocol. I'm gonna get the support. I'm gonna get on the right mindset. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do all of this and I'm feeling a little better and then bam, UTI again, heck. Didn't work, held up, didn't work. Got the UTI again. This is crap. I'm not doing it anymore. Like I told you, I tried everything. But the thing is this, the body heals in the same sequence as it got imbalanced, meaning it will go tracing back those same footsteps, looking for the weaknesses, which are the symptoms that you're feeling, because the acidic body will show you your weakest point. Now, when you're healing, the weakest point will have to come back. So the body can look at it and say, yep, there you are. We're gonna go in and we're gonna clean it out. Now, if you had UTIs, you might've taken antibiotics or other stuff, you know, you're just suppressing it, not going to the cost. So here it is, all that crap. You want healing, you said? Yeah, okay, here we go. Coming up, are you ready to take it? Oh no, I don't wanna feel it. I don't wanna feel the pain. This is too much for me. It's not working, 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 working and we let our brains take over, thinking, I've tried everything, and it's not working for me. But the thing is, the body cannot not 
work for you. As long as we step back and let it do the job that it's supposed to be doing, it is always working. It is what it does. When we are awake, when we're sleeping, when we're eating, when we're not eating, it's always working. But it is doing what it's supposed to be doing to the level of which you allow it, which you believe it to do, which you can step out of the way and which you can give it room to heal. So you see, we're not trying anything. We're not trying protocols. We're not buying a lot of devices. Although, yes, there is a lot of good stuff out there. I've tried myself and I advocate, you know, herbs, oils, certain other things, frequencies. Yes, I have most of it. I even have an oxygen tank in my house. I really was close to like the everything exploring, never judging, never saying, oh, this is not taking me from A to B in two weeks, so it isn't working. Or I can try only this, but that over there, that sounds crazy, so I'm not going to do it. Or if someone comes to my door and they say, hey, you can really just step back, you know, you can just get on the wagon of uh, healthy, amazing people that are on their way from Hellwill to Bellwill and do it the simple way, just step out. And it's like, oh no, that's not gonna work for me. I've tried everything. You see, the people that really work towards healing, they know that there is no everything to try. They know that there's only growth and evolving because healing the body is not a chore or a task or something that you do. It is a part of what you live. So when you're living that healthy, positive, trusting outlook in faith and knowing that you're letting nature step in and become a part of your flow, when you know that, you're not clinging anymore. And you know that what we know is really just yay high. There is so much that we don't know and we don't need to know. All we need is to experience and let it flow. All we need is to love ourselves enough to step out of the way, to step away from the ego that is so clinging to the proof. The proof. What proof do we have that anything works? What proof are we looking for before embarking on a new lifestyle that is the complete new paradigm, walking away from everything that is clearly not serving us? I mean, none of you are here watching my channel because what you're doing is serving you, I would think, or either you're just very curious, which is also a good thing. But the thing is, most of us, we will not even get close to searching for optimal health unless we are completely, completely lost where we are. And that's when it's hard not to get confused about the brain and the doing everything thing. Right? Have you, have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed that even when you go on this journey of simplicity, calling on truth, dignity, kindness, and self-love. Have you even noticed when you go there, your brain goes here or here saying, hey, <laughs> wait a minute, that can't be right. You're feeling all of these symptoms. I was supposed to get better. Again, you're saying it's not working. It cannot not be working. So the more you embrace, the more you realize you will never ever be able to try everything. You'll be free to try whatever comes before you. Not try as to try a diet. We do have a species specific diet. I have videos on that. So that is, that's clear to me. That is crystal clear. I never see anything that stray from that truth. 
never. So that's not trying anything. That's just allowing. And once you walk down that path, you will see that you'll be open to more and more allowing of different impulses because everything evolves. And like I said, nobody knows everything. I've had some of the most amazing mentors in my life, like Dr. Robert Morris, like the most loving soul and amazing person you can ever imagine. You know, Dr. Wayne Dyer, so many of whom I've been listening to and following, and they're all about this. None of them come to a point which know all, ends all, because we all know the same thing. This is a journey of growth and understanding thereof. So my uh, purpose for this video and my message to you today is that if you're the one that think you tried everything, stop trying. Stop trying anything and then just get away from all of that. Sit down, close your eyes, go within and really feel that you're more than all of this. Go back to simplicity, go back to nature, go back to what's serving you outside of the brain. You don't have to figure out what to eat. You don't have to figure out how to live. We're human beings. We thrive in nature. We thrive with sunshine, with hugging a tree, with walking barefoot, with eating fruits and vegetables. We thrive from self-love, forgiveness, community, being of service. That's how we thrive. And you all know this if you let go. So today, maybe try to declutter. Declutter everything that you think you've been doing or am doing that is not serving you. Look at it and say, do I need you? Do I need you? Do I need you? Do I need you? Most likely you don't need half of it. <laughs> not even that. All you need to do is to get on your coat, go outside, take a time out and know that there is no everything. There's only you, us, this lifetime, right now, doing the best that we can. You're able, you're worthy, you're capable, and you need to get on the passionate, enthusiastic, transformative wagon of self-love and nature embracing amazing lifestyle. Okay, so anytime you want to check in with me, just watch for another video. Anytime you want to talk to me in private, shoot me an email, shoot me a message on Facebook, comment on this video on YouTube. I don't care. Just connect with me because that's why I'm here. We can do this together and we can walk side by side. We didn't even have to go in the same direction with our lives we can still walk side by side. Okay, so I love you and I honor you and I thank you for watching. Namaste.